we have studied about biotechnology in earlier class and biotechnology is bringing about artificial genetic changes and hybridization in organism for human welfare so there has been a huge advancement in biotechnology we use biotechnology in different areas like we use for production of yogurt milk milk products for production of vaccines antibiotics uh, we even use it for uh, human welfare we used to create uh, tissues we use it in tissue cultures for production of hybrid seeds so there are different benefits of the biotechnology it has become possible to increase the per hectare yield of uh, the crops then the expenses of disease have been minimized because of production of new and new uh, antibiotics even uh, there has been production of yield has been increased uh, the resistant strain varieties they can withstand the temperatures the water stress the change in fertility of the soil so all of this thing has been possible because of biotechnology only now there are few commercial applications of biotechnology like biotechnology is used for industrial products uh, it is used for in crop biotechnology uh, for making hybrid seeds or genetically modified crops like bt cotton golden rice they are also used as bio fertilizers even uh, uh, the biotechnology nowadays is used in animal husbandry to increase the quality of meat and milk it is even used in human health to create vaccines and different types of antibodies they are also used in gene therapy cloning they are used in industries uh, they have also been used for the white revolution they are also used in environment to reduce the pollution the sewage because of many other uh, problems even in food we use biotechnology and one important use of biotechnology is dna fingerprinting where uh, the dna can be uh, sequenced and then uh, usually this is used in forensic science to uh, know about a particular dna from even a single strand of hair so all these things are possible because of biotechnology only let us first talk about the crop biotechnology so uh, biotechnology is used in agricultural field to improve the yield of the variety yield of the crop and even the variety of the crop so first is like we can make hybrid seeds a uh, genes of two different crops are mixed together and then uh, this crop is having more efficient uses next is uh, the genetically modified crops these crops they are uh, having uh, some genes of these crops are altered and then they can withstand a cold or alkalinity or any types of disease they become resistant to it next is uh, they can even uh, example is like bt cotton that is bacillus thuringiensis so in this cotton uh, strain gene of bacillus thuringiensis uh, organism is included and then uh, is grown so this plant can withstand the harm it can withstand any type of problems which are uh, affecting the plant like for example there is a ball worm which feeds on the cotton leaves so when uh, the bacillus thuringiensis is included into this plant so when the uh, ball worm it tries to feed on the leaf so what will happen is because of the toxins which is produced by the bt gene so the ball worm automatically dies so in this way the plant is protected in same way we have golden rice we have a herbicide tolerant plant so in this way we have generated different types of crops and because of this even the yield of that particular crop has increased next commercial application is bio fertilizers now due to use of bio fertilizers instead of chemical fertilizers uh, the nitrogen fixation and phosphate solubility abilities of the plant has improved so which organisms do we use for it so we use bacteria as like uh, rhizobium azotobacter nostoc anabena and even plant like azolas are used as bio fertilizers now these bio fertilizers they will not harm the soil or the environment and hence these are also environment friendly 
Now, animal husbandry are used in wide scale. It helps to improve both the quality and quantity of animal products. Like you can improve the quantity of milk, meat, even the wool quantity can be increased. Uh, so these animals, they even get more strength and they have been developed for hard work. So with biotechnology, even animal husbandry is possible. It is usually done by two methods that is artificial insemination or embryo transfer. So any of the two methods are used and uh, the uh, animal husbandry or the uh, genetics of that particular animals are improved. Next is human health. So diagnosis and treatment of disease are the two important uh, main aspects of human health management. So biotechnology helps to identify the role uh, of the gene if any disease uh, if is there in the person. The diagnosis of diabetes or heart disease is possible even before any symptoms have arised. So because of the help of biotechnology, the disease like AIDS, dengue can be, uh, this, these diseases can be diagnosed in few uh, time, in very less time and treatment can be possible at the earliest. So in human health, we even produce vaccines. So vaccine is the antigen containing material given to the acquired uh, either permanent or temporary it gives either permanent or temporary immune immunity against the particular pathogen so if that vaccine is given in your body so that is uh, is included in your body either in the dead form or in the uh, life form but only a very particular part is being introduced into the body so our body starts to produce antibodies against that particular pathogen and then those antibodies are saved into your body and then afterwards whenever the real organism enters into your body a real pathogen enters into your body those antibodies fight against that particular thing so this is how the vaccines work so uh, with the help of biotechnology production of these antigens have become easy in the laboratory even the testing part has become easier the vaccines production has become a uh, very fast earlier it used to take around five six seven years to produce even a single vaccine but now because of the improvement in biotechnology the vaccines can be produced in only one one and a half year uh, after doing all the research and all for example the corona vaccine was produced in very less time that is around in one one and a half year so this is how uh, the vaccination works. With the help of biotechnology, we have also produced edible vaccine. So uh, work on production of edible vaccine is in progress and has not been introduced into the market. But presently, potatoes are being produced with the help of biotechnology. So these potatoes are called as transgenic potatoes. And these potatoes will act against the bacteria like the Escherichia coli or the Vibro coli which uh, leads to dysentery problems or stomach infection. So consumption of these raw potatoes will generate immunity against cholera or any other disease which is caused due to Escherichia coli or the E. coli. So uh, again, this was possible because of biotechnology only. Another application is gene therapy. So gene therapy is used to treat genetic disorders in your somatic cells and it has possible because only of the biotechnology. So like a uh, disease like phenylcutinuria, which arise due to genetic changes in your liver cells. So it has become possible to treat uh, it with the gene therapy. And in this method, uh, the somatic cell uh, are used and it is also called as somatic cell gene therapy. So all the cells except the sperms and the ova in the body, they are called as the somatic cell. So the genes of these cells are altered and these type of disease can be cured. Even cloning is possible with the help of biotechnology. So production of replica of any cell or organ or the entire organism is called as cloning. There can be reproductive cloning or therapeutic cloning. Uh, in earlier around uh, there was a cloning which was done on the sheep which was a sheep which is called as dolly so exact replica of the sheep was developed it survived for few years but then afterwards it died but uh, there are chances that we can even clone a human but it is not uh, authorized but it can be done 
Now it has also become possible to solve environmental related problems with the help of biotechnology. Uh, there are different techniques like microbial techniques are in use for the treatment of sewage or the solid waste. The sewage which is rich in organic matter. So if the sewage is released naturally into the water bodies, it will destroy the water bodies. It will destroy the aquatic life. So the sewage is then treated and afterwards it is disposed into the water bodies so that treatment is possible because of the uh, biotechnology even uh, generation of plant tissues or the use of bacteria to clear the environmental pollution all of these uh, are possible only because of biotechnology even food items like bread cheese yogurt vinegar these are all produced with the help of microorganism and these food items are probably uh, the oldest ones which are produced with the help of biotechnology. Another important use is DNA fingerprinting. The DNA sequence of each person is unique and that is the fingerprints. So due to this, uh, the identity of the person can be known with the help of the available DNA and this is called as DNA fingerprinting. It is mainly useful in forensic science and the identity of criminals can be established with the help of the parts of the body, uh, even the hair strand or the nail from there, the, uh, the fingerprinting can be done. Usually in the movies or in crime patrol and all they show about this, the forensics, the body is sent to the forensics, uh, they do research about it and then they say that yeah, yeah, fingerprints mila So this is all done in DNA fingerprinting. So there has been improvement in agriculture and this was after green revolution so the problems of population explosion they started to appear in the 20th century and there was also underdevelopment uh, and the developing countries had badly affected because of the poor quantity and quality of the food so there were various methods which were applied for harvesting so that the maximum yield can be generated and this is called as the green revolution so improved a uh, quality of white rice proper use of fertilizers and pesticides water management food grains they were all uh, useful to save the hunger problem at that time and for this there was a person that is dr norman borlaug and dr m s swaminathan which was from india they have been uh, given they have given the valuable contribution in the green revolution so various researches and uh, institutes were developed and even there are various institute now there has been increased they are in uh, Nagpur New Delhi and different places where the research of agricultural uh, biotechnology is done new and new methods of developing more and more yields are being produced Now in various parts of India's earlier they were rich in milk and milk products but other parts there were problems shortage of milk because that was not enough uh, to fulfill the needs of all the people. So Dr. Vargas Kudin he developed uh, new researches and with the help of biotechnology he proved that uh, the dairy can be used uh, like the biotechnology can be used in dairy and it can be uh, done as a mainstream business so while achieving the self-sufficiency in dairy business various experiments were performed uh, to improve the quality control the new dairy products were improved and this is how white revolution took place now, as green and white revolution, there was also blue revolution in which the improvement in aquatic uh, food was increased, like the production of fish, prawns, or any other aquatic organism is increased with the help of biotechnology. Uh, so, marine fresh, marine fishes and freshwater fishes, uh, to produce them, it is possible in large scale. Freshwater fishes like rohu, katla, and other fish production like shrimp, lobster, they are being cultured on a very large scale. Usually, if you go to Gujarat side, there uh, the main pisciculture is done there. So this is how Blue Revolution took uh, improved with the help of biotechnology. New and new varieties of fish can be grown. Even the genes can be altered. The fishes which can't survive the cold, cold strength or they cannot survive the low pH. So all of these things can be improved with the help of biotechnology. Next is the use of fertilizers. So two types of fertilizers are used in agriculture. 
one is the organic manure and second is the chemical fertilizers so water holding capacity of the soil improves with soil conservation due to use of manure the upper layer of the soil which is the most essential soil which is called as the humus so that formation can take place various essential elements like nitrogen phosphorus potassium they can be available to the crops uh, due to earthworms and fungi in soil less farming like hydroponics liquid chemical fertilizers are used so uh, these fertilizers have an harmful effect and this includes the decrease of fertility of the soil so with the help of biotechnology even fertilizers can be generated and chemical fertilizers can be reduced same can be done with insecticides also so there we use various pesticides like ddt malathion uh, which are very dangerous for the plants they can reduce the uh, ph of the soil they can harm the plant even the chemicals can enter into the soil into the uh, plants and they can then lead to lot of disease so these things can be avoided with the help of biotechnology and uh, new insecticides can be developed next is organic farming nowadays it has created a buzz all over the world so food can be produced with the help of organic farming so organic products are being available and are in demand and this is also increasing day by day chemical fertilizers and pesticides are used in large scale it leads to poisons uh, it can enter into the food so to solve this problem people use organic farming in which uh, they use all natural methods manure oil cakes vermiculture all these things are done and the production is uh, made so this type of farming is called as organic farming the food of uh, produced through this farming is much costlier than the food which we get from the chemical for use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides you all must have seen a bee hive worst method of harvesting and collecting the honey is using smoke or burning the bee hive and then removing the bees it leads to destruction of the bee hive also and also uh, there the bees dies because of the smoke and this leads to decrease in population of the bee so this method leads to lot of destruction however we can easily collect the honey without destroying the hive and the bees Uh, can also be saved this is called as the artificial uh, production of the honey which we call it as apiculture so there are boxes which are generated these boxes have small small plates in them so those plates uh, where the honey will be produced the bee hives will be generated you just have to remove the plates you have to remove the honey from it extract the honey and then again replace it so this is how Uh, apiculture is also in practice these days now fruit processing is also an important part uh, we are daily using various products prepared from fruits all are consuming the products like chocolates juices jams jellies all these products can be produced by processing on fruit so the fruits are perishable and it is also an agro produce so uh, even businesses can be done with this so fruit processing includes the methods like ranging from storage to cold storage drying salting air tighting packaging uh, even murabbas can be generated from them so this is how uh, even if the season is not there you can get the fruit or some part of that particular fruit or some other uh, material of that food can be used and this is called as fruit processing earlier fruit processing was only done in villages or with the with some people uh, when they uh, are grannies and grandparents they used to remove the juices from the fruit they used to burn them they used to make uh, different types of uh, jellies from it or sweet dishes from it and it can be stored for a very long time but now fruit processing has become a main industry in which people can earn even the economic of that particular region can be improved with the help of fruit processing